in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create five cylindrical shape infographic slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click it shows the option one you can see the first cylinder shape with the option number one uh, with the icon and the detailed text and on my next click it will show the option two then the option three option four and option five and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university and you can join my whatsapp group with the help of this link and it is also provided in the video description section and if you'd like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon uh, the link is given in the video description section so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangle, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle at the corner, depending on the size, how much you need. Maybe this much I'm going to select shape outline, make it no outline and I'm going to give some gradient fill. For that right mouse click, go to format shape and select gradient fill. So here by default I have used before that one. So let me just uh, add two stops only, one stop I'm going to give some you can see here maybe some uh, dark color and here I'm just going to give some light color something like that some different color combination you can make it now I want to make it like a cylindrical for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can see here this much size shape outline make it white and increase the weight you can give maybe four points you can see here something like this and for this also I'm going to give the same gradient fill you can see it by default it has come there and if you want to give more you can just add some more dark also I'm going to add one more point go to custom and you can make it more darker also like this and for this also you can do similar like this go and select this darker so it will be more darker here so once this is done what i'm going to do i'm going to change the background any dark color background i'm going to choose maybe i can just choose a, a this kind of a dark gray color or any color of your choice now once this is done what i'm going to do i'm going to select both of this shape press ctrl d to duplicate move it aside a little bit here you can see here then select this shape reduce the size and then bring this down so this is my second option you can see here and then later on we can change the color so let me just select for the third option press ctrl d move this again reduce the size bring this down again make sure that you have to align properly and then two shapes i'm just going to add here again select this press ctrl d i'm going to select put it here again reduce the size you can see here and then select ctrl d I'm going to add it here and for this also I'm going to reduce the size and then put it here so you can see here I've added four options now once uh, uh, you have added all the options it's time to change the colors so let me just select this color and then I'm going to select this color first I'm going to give some maybe a color of green here you can see here and this side a lighter green somewhat lighter green i can choose or whichever color which you feel better you can choose it and here also i'm going to select the darker green and then go to select color again more colors then go to the custom increase the shading effect so it gives you the more darker side here and the same thing i'm going to use here a dark green and then somewhat a lighter green and here more lighter green so like this you need to just change the options for the rest of the the options here and once this is done you can go to insert text box start adding the text maybe this one i'm going to make it five select the white font you can see here uh, any good font you can choose century gothic or oswald or whatever center align so this is uh you can see here i can make it 60 control d I can make this as 54 control D I'm going to make this as reduce the size 48 you can see here control D this one I'm going to reduce the size to 44 control D and this one I'm going to reduce the size to 40 only 
so now just change this one to 4 this is 3 this is 2 and this is 1 so you can see here then go to insert you can see the icons any random icons you can choose it so i'm just going to select some five random icons just insert it and give the graphic fill as white and then add one by one depending on your requirement you can just add these icons you can see here and i'm going to select this icon and then go to the effects shadows scroll down and perspective give some shadow effect something like this so once this is done you can just simply go to insert text box you can add the title here again make it white font again choose some good font here century gothic make it bold i'm just going to bring it here and then go to insert text box you can add your detail text here something like this again make it white font again the same font you can choose reduce the font size maybe i can give lighter gray then i'm going to select both of this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate so this is for the second this is for the third this is for the fourth and this is for the fifth and then what you can do is you can go to insert shapes and then with the help of this free form i can just click here click here and double click here and make it as a white font so like this you can just insert all the lines for each text you can see here double click and give a white font so just complete for the rest of the options